Hey there, you're watching Amitha Verma. Today I'm working on an incredible project that I had to share with you. I am working on creating a farmhouse style dining room from top to bottom and I wanted to share with you what are the factors that I use to create this style of a room. Now you may think it's all about the dining table and I'm here to tell you you're totally wrong. While it is about the dining table, there are so many other critical parts of the room that I want you to pay attention to to create a beautiful farmhouse style dining room. So watch along as I share the incredible transformation of this space from start to finish. Now the first thing I actually did in this room was to give it a good fresh coat of paint. Paint is one of my favorite design tools and I think one of the most transformative design tools, especially if you're working on a budget. Now with the farmhouse style, really any color palette can go. But in this room, I opted for a really beautiful gray color with a hint of blue to keep the room feeling earthy and natural. Now that that's done, I'm gonna start looking for some of the key elements in the room. And I'm gonna start with, not the table, but actually the buffet that I'm gonna build my buffet wall around. I love looking for a buffet that shows some wear and tear and some distressing. In this project, I knew I was gonna use the buffet to create a great statement wall. So I wanted to opt for a buffet that had a softer color palette. So that led me down the path of looking for something with a chalky painted finish on the buffet. Here you can see how beautiful this color is on this buffet. It creates such a soft, casual, relaxed feeling in this room. Now you can recreate this exact same look using furniture that you already have. You can take your existing buffet and make it over with our chalk finish paint to create the same farmhouse style in your dining room. If you like this look, I'll put the links down in the description box for a tutorial on how to achieve the same look and the colors that we used on this project. Whenever I'm looking for a buffet, I love looking for pieces that have a lot of beautiful scroll work and C scrolls and S scrolls in the details because in a dining room, there tends to be a lot of hard lines and hard surfaces. So this style in particular brings a lot of softness into your dining room. Now, if I have room, which I usually do because most dining rooms have at least three solid walls, I love trying to include an old style china cabinet. This sort of furniture is a great piece of storage for all your extra serving ware and silverware china pieces. I chose this one for a couple of reasons to add into this dining room. First, I love the beautiful painted finish. Secondly, I chose this one because it has this beautiful chicken wire front, which I am a sucker for chicken wire anything. You can still see through the chicken wire, but it feels relaxed and welcoming and warm in the space. Now that we've chosen two of our big pieces, our anchor pieces, the buffet and the china cabinet, I am gonna start working on the walls. My secret sauce, the magic formula that transforms the most ordinary room into the farmhouse style. There are a few things that I always look for to include on all of my projects. This includes old antique, worn down, beaten up shutters, beautiful old wall panels that have been pulled out of an old home, textural pieces such as mirrors or wood remnants or pieces of artwork that have a very chippy, distressed, antique style patina. And of course, classic pieces like old clock faces and decorative panels to start layering up onto my walls. Now, if you can't find a beautiful old wall panel, another type of wall decor I love to look for are old shutters. Old, worn down, beaten up, even have dirt on them shutters. This is a great way to add a bit of patina and a bit of farmhouse style to any room that you're working on. Another option that I love to look for for upgrading my walls are beautiful old doors. This is another great way you can get instant character patina, distressing and detailing that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get on your walls. 
In all of my dining room projects, I love adding additional layers of lighting. And a great way that you can do that is by simply adding a pair of sconces into your room. You can easily do this on top of your buffet, on either side, or on either side of your china cabinet. Once I have identified these pieces and added them onto my walls, then I start looking for that perfect dining table for my project. Now you may have done this in reverse order or think it's more logical to do it in the reverse order and look for a dining table first. That is a great way to go about furnishing your dining room. But what I really want you to take away is it's the walls and the layering of the textures and the finishes that you put on your walls along with some of those classic pieces like your buffet, your china cabinet, and even your lighting that turn a ordinary room with four blank walls into a farmhouse style dining room. Now when I'm looking for a farmhouse style dining table, there are a couple of key hallmarks that I look for. Number one, the most important is gonna be the finish on the table. I love looking for something that's a little bit rustic, a little bit beaten up. Number two, I love looking for something large enough for my family plus my extended family, just so we can sit down and have a good old fashioned meal together. Another quality that I look for are the legs of the table. I love a good looking table leg. And of course, the colors that are in the table. My best tip is to work with what you've got. Look around your room, look around at the pieces that you've selected, and that will help guide the right table selection for you. So in this room, we were working with a lot of soft grays, painted finishes, and I knew that perfect contrast would be a very natural wood tone with just the slightest hint of a whitewash distress finish to give me that perfect amount of contrast and style to create the farmhouse style dining room that I was looking to create. Now that I've selected my table, the next thing I'm gonna look for are the perfect chairs to add into this room. Now this room is a little bit rustic and so I knew the chair that's gonna match perfectly with this table needed to have either a rustic vibe or something complimentary, not too delicate or too feminine for this table and for this room. In this case, I opted for these fully upholstered tufted back chairs because the amount of fabric, the amount of linen is adding a contrast to all of the hard surfaces. It's adding another layer of texture into the room and they're also very inviting. So I knew this was the perfect sort of rustic, rougher texture to bring into this dining room to continue to create that farmhouse style. Now that we have all of these pieces in place, you may be tempted to quit and call it done. I know often my friends feel like they're done when they have the dining table, but it's still not done yet. Before you start inviting people over, don't forget about the finishing touches. I love adding a few decorative elements onto my dining table and my buffet top to really make that room feel intimate and inviting to your guests. Don't make it complicated. Rummage around your cupboards and see what you've got. I tend to look for pieces like breadboards, a couple of napkins, a stack of plates, canisters that I can add some flowers into, such as old jugs or beautiful old pictures that all just make your guests and your family feel more welcome in this room. And there you have it. You can see this not so good looking room was beautifully transformed into a farmhouse style dining room with just a few key elements. If you have any questions on how I put this room together, leave it in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps me know you love this type of content. Then be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss another one of our inspiring episodes. After that, head over to my blog and make sure you sign up to receive your design newsletter. Till the next time we meet, keep making your home amazing with your design gifts. Testing, testing one, two, three. Oh, I think I place, hold on. <laughs>
the whole thing just came off. Testing, testing number two. How's everybody doing? We're moving along, making waves, rolling together. Which is the walls? Actually, it's not is. Which are the walls? Which are the walls? It's like when you say something over and over and the words don't make sense to you. Action. more use and wear and tear and time. Otherwise, they're banging on there. <laughs> Have a good old fashioned meal. Let me just tell it. Hey Beatrice, another thing I love looking 